We have call a heat exchanger. Call to order. Uh, roll call, please. Brian Card. Here. Viet Lawrence. Here. Matthew Wendorf. Absent with notification. John Sarantopoulos. Here. Michael Huco. Here. And Keith Thurlow. Here. Um, Michael, you'll be replacing Matthew. Okay. So this, uh, ad addendums, any addendums? None at this time, no. Okay. Uh, citizens' comments on items not subject to the public hearing. Anybody want to speak to anything tonight that's not on one of the public hearings? I think that's a no. And there was nothing in the public comment. Okay. Uh, public comments can be emailed to public comment at killingleyct.gov or mailed to the town of Killingly, 172 Main Street, Killingly, Connecticut, 06239. All public comment must be received prior to 2 p.m. the day of the meeting. Public comment received will be posted on the town's website, www.killinglyct.gov. To participate in citizens' comments, the public may join the meeting via telephone while viewing the meeting on Facebook Live. To join the, by phone, please dial 1415-655-0001 and use the access code 2632-123. 6933 when prompted. Okay. Um, special permit number ap application 22-1298, Melissa Frank, David Pensack owner, Davin Pensack owner. 330 State Avenue, JIS map 111, lot 16.44 acres, low density zone. Request special permit to allow home occupation in a building outside the residence in the garage, wizard or pause pet grooming. Under section 410.2.1.H, section 595.1, A to M, and section 595.2, article seven, special permits. Um, Emery, you wanted to? Okay, um, first off, I'm just gonna invite Melissa and her business partner to come and sit up at the table, please. I'd also like to tell the Planning and Zoning Commission that Melissa is requesting that um, we waive the requirement of a survey. Um, staff believes that that is, um, does make sense. The house was built, I believe, I have it down here, the house was built in 1870 and the garage was built in 1919. They're not going to move and they're not going to enlarge or increase anything. They are what they are. Um, we did put in copies of the CII, CAI technologies. You have a picture showing her lot, and then you also have a map showing where her lot ha appears within the neighborhood. Um, her property is in the low density zone and home occupations are allowed there. Home occupations are allowed outside of a resident via a special permit and that is why she's with you today because she's requesting to put it into the garage. Um, staff does agree with the waiver of the site plan. As I said, the house was built in 1870 and the garage was built in 1990. Uh, square footage of the garage, according to the tax assessor's card, is 440 square feet. Less than half of the square footage allowed under zoning, which is 1,000 square feet. Um, and that is for home occupation. Um, staff believes the applicant has already applied for her trade name certificate and has made her application to the State of Connecticut Department of Agriculture, Bureau of Regulatory Services for a grooming facility. The applicant appears to have taken all of the required and necessary steps. And staff has explained to the applicant that if she becomes busy, re overly successful, um, that she would need to find another location. Applicant has explained that she does not expect to become so busy as to adversely affect her residents or the neighbors. Um, the applicant is here this evening to answer any particular questions that the board or the commission may have for her to answer. And all I'm gonna say is just make sure that the green light is on and you can just hit where it says push <coughs> and your green light can go on. Any questions for Commissioner? Um, 
I'll start. Can you just tell us a little bit about your planned activities, you know, hours of operation, customer scheduling, you know, any pets going to be staying on site, premises, just talk through a little bit of what your plans are so we understand, you know, how the business is going to work. Sure. You want to take it? Yeah. Um, so I'm an experienced groomer. I've been grooming for 12 years now. Um, it's always been a dream of mine to come into an opportunity to be able to, you know, be my own boss, so to speak. Um, we're going to operate in the morning hours, particularly between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Um, it's going to be a drop-off and pickup service, likely appointments scheduled each hour. Um, there is no plans to board dogs overnight or any longer than three right. hours, really, um, but it, it will be like a drop-off pickup type situation. And we don't have plans to have more than three dogs in the salon all at once. Okay, so for the, I'll call it the two to three hour time that the pets are there, mm -hmm. will there be, and is there any outdoor, you know, kenneling of them or any, I'm saying dogs kenneling could be any animal, but is there any outdoor, you know, uh, housing of them? Is everything going to be inside the building if they're there for an extended period of time? Yes, yeah, so they'll be okay. contained within the salon. <coughs> uh, there is like a little, a yard that we could, you know, it's fenced in, right. fenced in yep. for Melissa's but we personal do have pets yeah. for you know potty breaks and things like that. But inside, that we do have three uh, three different size kennels to accommodate dogs. Okay, yep. Just thinking of you know issues and stuff with neighbors who mm -hmm. talk to everything. Um, and you said everything will be a by appointment only. Yes, correct. So that's how you'll control traffic exactly. in and out of the facility. Right. Yes. I also have a horseshoe driveway. I don't know if that helps. It, but it I would can be, see that in the picture. Yeah, as well, it so. would be very nice just for them to be able to drop off, pick up, but no. You know, it, it, typically a grooming is, is, what, two hours? Between two and two and a half so hours. So it might no, even only be one dog in there. Mm -hmm. It just depends, you know, but we're not definitely would never do more than three. Yep, understood. Right. Uh, any exterior signage being added for the home occupation or just small signs or? Small. I'd like to put a small sign. Yeah. Um, not sure if that's allowed or not. Um, mm -hmm. So you just allowed a sign for identification purposes. Yep, it's just, I mean, we don't have it identified the, where it would be, which sign as far as traffic patterns, just trying to make sure we understand. Oh, okay, it I would like to put one at the end of the driveway. You know, there's okay. a um, light post. A light post with a <coughs> flagpole that comes out this way. So I just wanted to do a drop down one on that, that's it. You know, nothing huge. Yeah, just for a marker for, for um, people know where you are. Exactly. Which driveway to pull into. Exactly, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. So you, you, I mean, maybe he already repeated. Do you have just two, what, two or less employees? Just two. Just us. Just the two yes. employees. So will there be any exterior changes really to the property? Absolutely none. No. Waste. How do you handle the waste, or anything? You think you see anything different with the waste? I don't, I don't see anything no. different with the ways. Maybe, you know. just, maybe just an extra bag of hair in the trash can at the, yeah. at the end of the week. That's about okay. all. Yeah, <laughs> I mean. I'm just kind of going through a list here. Yeah, yeah, no, that's okay. I didn't even think of that with providing you guys a biohazard in case there ever is. Mm -hmm. Right, we would have to get okay. a biohazard. Obviously nothing to interfere with radio or television. No. no. <laughs> I think those days are gone anyway. And you have parking to accommodate? Mm -hmm. I do, yes. Mm -hmm. Will you be selling any other articles like soaps or anything? Nothing. No. You're going to comply with state and federal regulations. Yes. And uh, all operations will be approved by the building official. Correct. Okay, go ahead. You had a question? Um, I'm just wondering. So you might have more than one dog there at a time. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, is there some way to separate them so they don't see each other and start barking because you're in a neighborhood, right? Or you're, uh, I'm having trouble figuring out how far your neighbors are. <laughs> but uh, Oh, do you mean as far as when they're in the building? In the, yeah, if they're in the building and, you know, they get into, I mean, if they're in the same space, some dogs just right, get oh, noisy. Right, right. So, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I'm just wondering whether you would have the possibility of keeping them separate so that yeah, you know, I don't know how close your neighbors are either. So, right. uh, you know, if if you have uh, some dogs barking at each other, you know, how much... Exactly. Yeah. I think it would really be on client-based, right? If, it, if yeah, they say our dog is dog aggressive, we wouldn't have any other dogs in the shop. Right, the we would make special okay. accommodations exactly. for We're such We're not going to be so, you know, 
overrun with business that we yeah. can't accommodate if someone brings in a dog that's not dog friendly. So, I mean, if it ever did come to that, it's very easy to drape something over the kennels mm -hmm. so they can't see each other. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, you said you have kennels, so they're going to be in the kennels if they're not being groomed. Is correct. correct. Yes. I believe that's state law. And yes. um, we'll never allow face to face contact unless it's not, you know, unless it's approved by pet parents. So, say, like, yeah. I'm here today and my neighbor's here. Oh, our dogs play all the time. They can, you know, yeah, hang out happening. and sniff each other within the salon. But <laughs> it's not happening. Unless we have that explicit, you know, permission, exactly. you know, the dogs will, will never be face, face to face, face you know, exactly. interacting with each other. Exactly. So, Anne Marie, you've reviewed all the special permit requirements with them? And yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, just one last question on the on the hours. So, uh, I don't know if I heard the answer. Is it Monday through Friday? Is it Saturday, Sunday as well? So, I mean, just um, Monday through Friday, and we're thinking right at this time every other Saturday. Okay. But same. not a full day on Saturday. Right. It Maybe would be like, like eight like to a twelve. Half day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure mm -hmm. I understand for the record, and then yeah. some Sundays off right now. Correct. For now, yes. Okay. Okay. Any other commission questions? Staff. No questions. We, we met with the applicant uh, prior to uh, during the application process. Got to go out and saw the exterior um, uh, of the property when the placard was up and all that stuff. So no real concerns. Uh, the proposed number of dogs is less than what's allowed as of right uh, for any homeowner to have on a, on a property. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, anybody from the public like to speak to this application? Go with them, so I assume no. Yeah, you better be quiet. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, anybody else? One more time around. Just Am uh, so, Amory, just because we don't have copies of it, the letter from the land landowner you have, no yes. nothing in there of concern, just straight up permission? Straight up permission. Okay. I and actually talked to him, he came in, and he signed it in front of me, so. Okay, just because we didn't have it, and then yep. same thing, copy of the application, just straight up, yep. nothing. Straight up, of nothing concern. interesting. Okay. Okay, anybody else? Any other questions? Commission, staff, public, one more time. Anything else you want to add? Okay, uh, I have a motion to close the public hearing. I'll make that motion. I have a second? Second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed or abstentions? It's closed. So we'll probably vote on that in a few minutes, if not quicker than. <laughs> or seconds. Or seconds. <laughs> so you can depends how much you rambles. Ma'am. Oh, I'm like, what does this mean? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. No okay. <clears throat> oh, I see it. Should we go back to our seats? Okay. okay. Great. Thank you. It wasn't me rambling. Okay. Just so you know. <laughs> No, I've been trying to decide how do I ramble. Next, um, unfinished business, special permit application 22-1298, Melissa Frank, Davin Pensec owner, 330 State Avenue, GIS map 111, lot 16, 0.44 acres. Uh, low density zone, request special permit to allow home occupation in the building outside the residence and the garage. Wizard of Paws, pet grooming under section 412, 10, 595 and 595, Article 7. Uh, can I have a motion, please? I make a motion to approve. Uh, uh, and do I, any, anything else? No? Well, no? whatever we discussed, whatever. No. Okay. Waiver, waiver of the survey. Oh, yeah, waiver of the survey. Right. Okay. She including the waiver of a survey. Uh, do I have a second? Second. A second by Matt, uh, Michael. Any further discussion? Uh, roll call, please. Ryan Card? Yes. Virgo Lawrence? Yep. John Sarantopoulos? Yes. Michael Huco? Yes. And Keith Thurlow? Yes. Unanimously. You're good. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the uh, advertisement for this will most likely appear in Friday's paper and we'll have a four, uh, 15 day appeal period from that time. Okay. But we'll send <coughs> you a letter with all that information. Okay. Good luck. 
Okay. Uh, one of the conditions is you have to sit to the end of the meeting. <laughs> I knew there was a catch. Damn it. I've got that, that condition in. So yeah, that was a good one. Okay, site plan review application 22 1301. Luke Sa Walker, Susan Page owner, 208 208 Cutler Road, JS Map 5, Lot 4, 3.9 acres, ability to construct secondary dwelling unit under Town of Kilney Zoning Regulations 586. In section 470, site plan review. Re review application, staff is requesting the view review be done by a staff level. Commissioners, any questions on this? No, I, just, I would say though that I'm fine with it being done on staff level. Okay. Michael? Same. John? Yes. My, uh, John, uh, you. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> just for that, I'm going to ask a question. Go ahead. I'm uh, you. <laughs> No, just because there was no plan. It's a, right. just a secondary dwelling being built in Kelly. It's a secondary it's dwelling unit. The, as explained, the property goes into Putnam. Yep. And I'm going to say over 50% of the house that exists is in Putnam. Okay. So in essence, it's really it's not our problem. House. Yeah. <laughs> not our problem. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so so. They had one over there already. What? I, I think on that same, must be neighbor or two. Probably. They got one yeah. on the other side in Putnam. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean, in Killingly, one of the first ones we did was just down the road from that. I oh, okay. Yeah, one on a steep hill. Yeah, I think it's like 214. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, can I have a motion to that effect to. Uh, I'll make a motion. You make that motion. Do I have a second? Yeah. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed or abstention? That's done. Site plan review application 22 1302 Woodbury Supply. Uh, Paul Nealon, Nealon Holdens, LLC owner, 140 Louisa Vans, GIS map 57, lot 6, 3.2 acres, industrial zone for construction of two commercial loading docks under Town of Kilmer regulations 430, industrial zone and section 470 site plan review. Any questions on this from the commissioners? This is a request for staff to, to do it, handle it, site plan review. So it, um, is, since you've asked that, uh, it seems like several times, so are we changing our procedures here? No? The, um, the attorney at one time requested, said Requested that. that we bring everything to you and let you know that staff's willing to do basically was willing to do it. We don't consider it that it would have to necessarily become this to the here board because it's not a brand new building on a brand right. new site and that sort of thing. So okay. it's I just, just wanted to understand it. Are written. Yeah. Okay. Compared to our the approved site plan, it would be a minor modification. Uh, yeah. like typically it wouldn't be something that we would, you know, if it was brand new, we yep. wouldn't even have brought it back to you guys. It's a very slight modification. Okay. Any other questions from commissioners? John, Brian, oh. nope. Good. You had it this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, staff, anything? No. You have a motion to uh, approve this? I'll so make that motion. You a second? Second. Second by Michael. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed or abstentions? Okay, that's done too. Okay, um, this is, you had asked me before for an addendum. Um, this isn't so much an addendum as you may want to take uh, this special, this next special permit under 824 um, at the same time only because it considers the same parcel of real estate for the same purpose. Um, You're saying you want us to vote to combine it? Right, you can accept what it is, is you have to look at it anyways for the 824 uh, because you have to do an 824 review because the town is, um, the town council should proceed uh, to consider the purchase of the real estate as a possible midterm office location for the town constables. The town manager is here, she'll answer any questions the commission may have, but because it's also going to be a quote unquote construction of municipal land use, um, you would also have to schedule a special permit 
hearing for December 19th because of the zone that this par this parcel of real estate is in. What zone is it? It's village commercial. Village village commercial. So, so municipal use required is allowed, but under special permit. So what she's saying is we have to make the town manager come back in December and do this again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I don't mind. So do you want us to do a 824 to do tonight or you want us? Yes, the 824 needs to be done tonight okay. in order to process the So your, your first manager. item up is the special <coughs> permit. I think what Anne Marie is trying to articulate is that um, we, well, it's we going to be the same conversation for both items. So you can do them indiv individually, but it's for the same parcel of land. Right. We don't have to, you don't have to do a joint motion or a combined yeah. motion on that. The them, only thing that you've got tonight for the special permit is to schedule the hearing. Let Anne Marie do her job and you sit there Hi. as an applicant. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be an applicant. <laughs> it's okay. It's clear, it's on my report. It's for fine. the special permit tonight, it's requested to schedule the hearing for December 19th. And All then right. you're going to be doing an 820. All right, special permit application 22 1303, Town of Kilna, United We Stand, LLC owner, 26 Soap Street, JIS map. 106 lot 15.68 acres village commercial zone to locate office of the town constables as a special permitted use under TOK zoning regulations section 420.1.2A public surface corporation or municipal land use receive application schedule a hearing for Monday is the application complete first we want to make sure <laughs> it's complete make sure that's complete yeah well, according to legal counsel, I can no longer determine if an application is complete, only you. So oh you God. receive it and then schedule it. So <laughs> <laughs> but what? it's as close as it's going to be, let's put it this way. You're the one that gets the salary. Yeah. We work for free. Under <laughs> <laughs> um, so new case law. Come on. Things change all the time. So you can you just schedule it for a hearing if the application Anybody have any questions from the commission members? I think it's a good location. Brian? Nope. Rebecca? No. Nope. Michael? You're going to schedule the meeting. So we, somebody want to schedule this? Somebody want to make a motion to schedule for December 19th? Any I questions for Mary? Motion. She's here. Right there. John <laughs> made it. What? John John received it. Received it and scheduled, received it scheduled for uh, December, on the, uh, December eight, uh, 19th. Can I have a second? Second. Second by Berg. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? None. Now okay. Now you can do the 824. Oh. Okay. Speaking the obvious. Okay. Then go back to minutes. I was going to say, there are minutes in between. If you wanted to do those, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We're going to make him think. He can run his meeting. I can't run much else in my life, so <laughs> please give me a couple of minutes. I'm right there with you. Um, yeah, what, what I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to go out of sequence. Workshop meeting minutes, October 17th. Do you have a motion? You got anything with that, Rug? What, you want me to make a motion or make a motion? Workshop meeting, October 17th, 2022. Well, you're the one who usually has changes, so if you <laughs> have changes, you, <laughs> you know. I think She's I didn't get anything second, uh, second by anybody? I, I'm just proofreading, reading usually. <laughs> Second. Anybody got a second? Second. Any f any further discussion on that? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed abstentions none. Regular meeting min abstain. I Brian abstains. Abstain, so you you got to speak up. I did. You <laughs> <won't> <laughs> <turn around. laughs> Regular meeting minutes October seventeenth. Have a motion, please. I make a motion to approve. Second. Second. Second by John. Any further discussion? No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Abstentions? Brian? I abstain. Okay. Or no's? Okay. Uh, other miscellaneous 824 review application number 22-1303, Donna Killingly. United We Stand, LLC, owner 26 <coughs> Soap Street, JIS map 106. Lot 15.68 acres, village commercial zone for the purpose purchase of property at 26 Soap Street to use as a midterm location for the town constables. Go ahead. Make Thank a you. 
So um, the town council will be receiving this item tomorrow to schedule the public hearing and special town meeting for the potential purchase of this pro pro property at 26 Soap Street. Um, and this is really um, as we progress through the development of the law enforcement division of Killingly, the growth of the constabulary program. Currently they are housed here in the town hall um, and the office space that they are in. We currently have six constables and two resident state troopers um, and they have uh, filled up the office space that we have located here. We're in the process, I'll be onboarding our seventh constable in about a week and a half and our eighth one will be joining us probably by the beginning of January. We're in our interview process right now for our eighth officer and that brings us to our fully budgeted complement of officers that we have budgeted for. Um, they've just completely outgrown this space here. And so looking for um, a space that is centrally located in the, in the community, um, that is, provides easy access for them to major uh, routes um, and has um, essential infrastructure connection, um, including um, connection to our fiber network. Um, those were kind of key components in looking for um, a interim space. And I call this a midterm space because the community has talked about developing a municipal p police force, which will come with having to build a police station that, a, that also has um, public spaces and um, holding facilities and evidence rooms and all of those other components. That is not what this facility will be. This facility is strictly going to be administrative offices um, because all of those other components, while we're under the resident state trooper um, contract, are all housed at Troop D. So Troop D is still our holding facility. Troop D is still where all the evidence is still um, housed and processed and all of that. But this is our administrative hub, if you will, for our law enforcement division. Um, they've just simply outgrown their space that they have here. And in order for that program to continue to develop as the community sees fit to develop it over time, um, they need space to grow. So the town council in um, July or August, I can't remember which month now, um, had approved the use of um, ARP funds, of American Rescue Plan Act funding that the town received um, of about of $800,000 to um, dedicate towards um, relocating that division to its own dedicated space. Um, this facility became available and we've been um, in negotiations with the property owner and um, so we're well within our budgeted amount of what we're looking at purchasing it for. Um, and it does provide adequate space for that midterm. So we won't need to find yet another location after we get to a certain size. Our next step would be going into a full facility when the, t when the community is ready to make that investment. Can I ask? So this is, are, is it being, are the troops, uh, troopers being split? Some are gonna stay in Danielson and some in Dayville or everybody's going to Dayville. So every all of the officers will go to will be um, will be all of their administrative offices will be out of that location on Soap Street. It wouldn't make sense to have them split because of the infrastructure needs and um, to have any of them continue to be housed here. Um, so they would all be located in that one space but where that is it has such great direct access to 101 and then easy access to all the other you know I mean they can pretty much get to downtown Danielson in, in a really short period of time so um, it it is a very central spoke <coughs> by having it um, located right there which was uh, critical in looking at what is um, what is a you know a, a good fit um, for that um, accessibility um, by having it right there so they would all transition to that space um, and that would be where that uh, administrative hub would come would be they would still do their normal patrolling so there and you're still gonna see them in downtown Danielson they're gonna do all their normal patrolling you're still gonna see bike patrols um, so they do a lot of bike patrols through the summertime in downtown Danielson and then up through on Bell so you'll still still see all those bike patrols um, this actually this facility will give them the adequate storage 
that right now we don't have capacity to store appropriately um, the uh, the equipment that they that they have and that they need. Um, we have um, some of their storage right now is um, down in our basement and. I don't know if any of you have been down in our basement, but everything goes down there to die a very ugly death. <laughs> and um, never to be found again, by the way. <laughs> huh? Um, and never to be found again. Well, you know, sometimes that can happen. So um, it's, it's important for their equipment to be housed in, you know, to be stored in, a, in an appropriate location. This does give um, uh, sufficient storage um, and in room for that storage to, to grow as, as the demands grow. This also provides another key component to this is um, it will provide uh, a secure space in the rear portion of the garage space. The rear portion of this facility is actually fully fenced in um, uh, with uh, and secured gated. Um, that's important. All any of our um, spare vehicles will be housed here and uh, secured behind the gate as well as um, on security camera. So the, the, the uh, facility is we're <coughs> purchasing the security camera uh, system as well. Um, right now, our spares don't necessarily have the security of being in a fenced-in area, which for a law enforcement vehicle, that's, that, that is a critical component when you have a spare vehicle, that your spare vehicle is um, uh, secured at all times. Um, this provides that um, available security um, to that to their spare vehicles and spare equipment. So I only have one quibble, yeah. and um, when my kid was in elementary school okay. in Dayville, I had to be on that little street okay. that this thing is going on, yeah. and when um, I was leaving. Uh, the school, you know, to get back on 101 sure. is really hard. So if somebody is in an emergency situation, right. you know, my there are smarter people than I am looking at this thing, but yep. that's the one thing, you know, that having tried to get onto Route 101 at 3 yep. o'clock in the afternoon yep. was difficult. Sure. So we've had that conversation. Mm -hmm. All of our law enforcement has been out there numerous times, um, and we've had that conversation. I've specifically brought out that conversation, but one of the big differences between my personal vehicle, your personal vehicle, and a police cruiser is we don't have lights and sirens on our vehicles. They do. So in an emergency situation, they have lights and sirens going on, which tends to alert traffic around them and they're able to get on and they're able to immediately gain access right so their access or ability to access into a, a busier intersection or busier area is a is a lot swifter than say a lay person's vehicle like ours because we do not have emergency right. you know vehicles like that you know dayville fire is right there right across the way they access that point as well on a regular basis um and so you know that is the the benefit of you know having that emergency okay, lights you. and sirens thank you you're welcome any other questions commissioner so the garage will be used for vehicle storage the garage will have uh, it'll be vehicles but it'll also be um like they have their their road bikes that they use so the road bikes will be in there um and then um additional um equipment um they might they might have some additional equipment that they're using for some of their um, ongoing training uh, props and stuff like that that they mean to, might need so to not, use. So not maintenance? Uh, no. Um, they, it, there is going to be a vehicle lift in there, and they will be able to um, put a vehicle up on a lift, but we would have a, one of our mechanics from the highway garage come over if they need to put a vehicle up on a lift, and that would only be if they need to look at something underneath the vehicle. The vehicle maintenance is still intended to happen at the highway garage. That's where all the vehicle maintenance happens, at the highway garage. That's the in, uh, intended going forward. That's where we're looking to do the maintenance. We're not looking at making this into a, a maintenance garage for the, for the police cruisers. Any other questions, anybody? Um, this is 824, so we don't get the public. And, and you want to say something? Staff, anything else? That, anybody want to make a That motion? lift comes with the building. Mm -hmm. It's already there. Yeah, the lift is in the building. We're purchasing the lift as part of the pa as part of the package. Uh, anybody make a motion? 
Second. Make a motion to move the 824 referral. I'll second it. <coughs> Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, abstention. Okay. Thank you very much. Should have asked this. Are they going to, I meant to ask, is they going to do any forward changes to the facade or? Um, we are look. so we do have to do some hardening of the exterior for security purposes. So we are going to have to put glazing on the windows. Um, we are looking at the only really um, exterior portion that would have any change is uh, right at the entrance, the door, the entrance doors to the office space. Currently it's um, uh, uh, like a glass door with a glass side piece to it. We're looking at putting um, almost like a vestibule attached to the front of it, really to harden that front entryway. Um, and we will be putting um, a call box on the exterior so that way should somebody you know, think that they can come there and seek police assistance, they'll know there'll be a call box that they can call Troop D because our officers are still gonna be, they're all dispatched out of Troop D, so the public aren't gonna be able to just walk into this facility. They still are gonna need to go, you know, they have to go to Troop D. So we will have that as an emergency call box, so that way if somebody does come to that facility, they will have direct access to um, at least, you know, making a contact to a dispatcher. And, and you get your own flagpole, it's already there. It is, it's a nice <laughs> flagpole. Just for a point, my wife's, my wife's godfather and uncle built that place originally. Really? Yeah, they did hospital beds in there, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. Huh. They built originally. Anyway, thank you. Uh, where are we? Don't text, don't text the group. We're going to have another special meeting next meeting? Yes, do you want to know? Uh, another meeting that'd be December 19th. It'd be at six o'clock. Be in this room. Do we want to be in a special meeting December 19th, or we want to wait till January? People's opinion. I would rather wait till January. John. Doesn't matter to Mike. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking to a bunch of senior citizens. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll right. accommodate you too. I, I would continue to have it. Get anyway, I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would, I would keep it moving along. All right, Jay. Okay. So at six o'clock, December nineteenth, here in this. And I might be able to call <laughs> Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Set us up. Okay. <coughs> so we'll do that. Um. Correspondence. Um, you've got lot. one letter, uh, that was received on d November fifteenth. Um, usually. Um, this letter was addressed to you, that's why it's here. The person who wrote this letter wants to remain anonymous. Um, their concerns were the parking around uh, Killingly Dental Care. And what, we, uh, what staff did is that staff went out, did a survey of the parking, and they gave you a map with the notes so it meets the parking requirements and it meets our regulations. It's kind of hard to do an existing place unless they made a major change, isn't it? Yeah, they didn't make a major change. No, it's been the same since it was originally I've approved in the 80s. I've been going there. They ripped a few of my teeth off. <laughs> okay. So, but that's, so that's been already looked Pete. into. We can't respond to anybody because we don't know who sent the letter. Um, Somebody disgruntled. Did you pass it on to the owner? We haven't reached out to them yet. The only recommendation was uh, whether or not to repaint the, the existing parking, which I believe is their, the intention. There was a change of, or there's a transition of ownership. Um, I believe Dr. Sheffield is retiring. So. Um, His daughter's taking over. Yep, that's, that's the only change that's occurred there, really. They're doing some small renovation work right now. I don't know my doctors are retiring. <laughs> Um, meeting dates for January to January. Any changes? Any comments? Anybody? Uh, Connecticut Federation of Planning and Zoning Agencies quarterly. Any comments on it? Department reports, zoning enforcement. I have none. In the wetlands, 
Uh, we might have a uh, quorum, quorum yeah. um, by the beginning of December. We meeting we'll have our first meeting in a while in January. Wow. Which is good because we have applications. I can imagine. Um, economic development. Um, so my is department is currently applying for a uh, EPA multi-purpose grant to conduct one phase one and two phase two assessments um, seeking reuse and remediation planning um, funding and a cleanup fund. Um, we'll be holding our third Small Business Academy in March of 2023. To date, we've had seven participants open businesses in town, including the one that you just approved for an in-home business. Um, and the phase one and phase two environmental assessments at 125 Alexander Parkway have been completed. The findings and cost opinions should be in before the end of the year. And that is all. Town Council. Mula, do you have anything to report? Uh, can you hear me okay because I'm driving? We can hear you. Okay. So the town council meeting for November is tomorrow, but from the special town council meeting, there were um, three appointments and reappointments to town um, commissions. One was the um, water pollution control. The other one was for historic district. And I believe the third was, was for wetlands. And uh, Mary Brown made a brief presentation on um, the progress on the um, KMS, they should be going into phase two um, in January. And um, the Westfield Avenue um, is progressing and they should be able to start renovations, I believe, in the summer. And that should not impact any of the occupation of the building. That's pretty much what I have for um, our meeting is tomorrow. Thank you. Um, and Marie, before one other thing, can can we schedule some kind of a thing with the attorney to so he can just review with us, so that we're up to par with uh, up to speed with participation by ECD and and planning and zoning meetings. So with the zone when we've guards to zone changes and and. Uh, I will check into that. That would probably won't happen until after the first of the year, though. Mm. I mean, it <coughs> I don't know if the commission, but it seems like we probably could do it w if we could do it at a workshop, mm -hmm. and then just do it even via via. Uh, and that could count possibly towards the educational credits that they need to continue. Yeah. Mary, quick question: If they have the attorney come in to answer some questions, could that count towards the educational that they need to do the educational hours? Oh, it all depends what category, right? I won't get into it. Okay. Well, that way there we can just get it up to speed on. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Is this on the state level? Yeah. Yep. Do we get paid for that? <laughs> Where is this school? It's right here. Okay. So it's, it's not severe. It, we got a little bit of time before it all kicked in, and there's actually a sick day required, but it's on the chapter. It's on the book. Are there going to be written tests? No. no. Just <laughs> I'm being <laughs> snarky. <laughs> I know. What is the standard? I'm sorry? What is the standard? So many hours to. Yeah, yeah I can, we can pull it out and get it to you guys. Okay. I'm slipping that in right before the motion to adjourn, <laughs> which I just made. <laughs> second. Oh, a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Have a happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Slipping it.